to the channel and in this video we're gonna see how even you can spoof the location of your iphone on find my so without a further ado let's roll the video well to fake the location of your iphone on find my first off you need to turn on developer mode on your iPhone and secondly you would be needing a really reliable software called any2 by iMyPhone who are known for making easy to use and trustworthy softwares and talking about any2 it's a reliable and effective tool to change the virtual location of your iPhone and Android device instantly and not only it works really very really well with other location based apps the software is available for both Windows and Mac and the link to the software is in the description down below so don't forget to check that out once you install and run the software, click on get started. Then go ahead by connecting your iPhone to Mac so that the software recognizes it. And once it shows up here, just select it and tap OK. Once it loads up, on the top right you get to see are the location changing modes that the software has to offer. And in this video, I'll cover all five of them. By using the first tool to change the location, all you need to do is you can either tap any place, you can even just search the name of any country, any state and even the name of any city that you can think of. Like for this video, let me type Geneva. Once you're done searching and selecting, tap move. And as an outcome, you'll see the effect of change in location, not only on your max screen, but also in the real time location that can be seen on the Find My app. Like previously, the map showed that I was in India and now my virtual location has moved to Geneva. So that's how it works. By making use of this tool, you can make your avatar jump and teleport to the next chosen location without actually searching for it. To make use of it, first off, on the map, you need to start tapping the places that not only you would like your avatar to teleport to, but also so that the software takes it as one of the locations. Before you click move, make sure the option of auto jump after cooldown is tick, which is needed by games like Pokemon Go. What's good is that the software has a predefined cooldown time and when you tap move, the location will change instantly after the cooldown timer is done. Unlike usual, you will see the effect of change in location not only on your screen but also in the real time location that can be seen on the Find My app. This tool helps one change location from point A to point B. And while using this one, along with your current location, you need to select one more location on the map for the software to take it as an endpoint. Before you click move, you can play with some settings like tick or untick, realistic speed option, and even change the number of loops. Just after you click move, you will see the change in location happening from point A to point B, not only on your max screen, but also you can see the virtual U move in the same directional path. Also, you can even adjust the speed of the movement which will show an immediate effect. The next tool for spoofing the location is the multi-spot movement which means that you can absolutely customize your route in real time. From the point of start, go ahead by tapping on different lanes, cities, states and or even countries in a way that it creates a sort of route. And once you are done, before you click move, you can play with certain settings like change the loop number, tick or untick the realistic speed option. And once done, click move. As an outcome, you will not only see your iPhone's location getting changed, but also see the virtual hue moving in the same way, which is pretty cool. Moreover, increasing or decreasing the speed will show an immediate effect. What's really unique about the software is that you can make use of the virtual joystick to change the direction and while doing so, you can even increase or decrease the speed. The last icon over here shows the history of the locations you went to or the spots that you moved across that you can either favorite or tap to move to that location. Just in case at any point of time if you wish to get back to your default real life location, all you need to do is tap the icon present over here and doing that will bring the device back to your real life location. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Now just go ahead and give the Any2 software a try. And if you found the video useful, do not forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. See you in the next one.
So with that being said, here's Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.